everybody. My name is Benjamin Bloom. I went to the dentist this morning and when I got out, I found that the second championship manager this week has been fired. Ito Karanka has gone from Nottingham Forest. And I say has been fired. The tweet um, that I read from Sky Sports News this morning said that Karanka, quote, asked to have his contract terminated. So it sounds like some big kind of fallout there. We knew there was something, some kind of meeting scheduled with uh, the owners and Karanka, although I was under the impression it was a meeting about transfer targets and strategy and things like that. Obviously, that meeting has not gone very well. It looks like the two parties um, were a long, long way apart in what they wanted. And so Karanka has gone. Um, he joins the role of dishonour now. So Steve Bruce, Gary Rowett, Josh Lukai, Paul Clement, Paul Hurst, and now... I tour Karanka. So Karanka signed for Forest in January uh, January the 8th, 2018. So he was there exactly a year in terms of um, matches. It was 26 played when he arrived um, last year and it's 26 played when he's leaving this year. When he took them over, it was Mark Warburton who was there and... I don't quite think the ownership had the patience for Warburton's um, Brentford style to kind of take hold there. They acted, they brought in Karanka. Um, they were in 14th place, 11 points off the playoffs, although only seven points back from where they are this year, if you want to look at the pure numbers. Um I can kind of summarise the timeline of Karanka's tenure by the games I've seen of Forrest doing my match reviews. I've seen Forrest four times under Karanka in that period. Um, the first time was in the spring against Ipswich, um, where so McCarthy has just left Ipswich. Uh, Forrest are in a battle. They've dropped a few more places down. Um, they're not winning games. Um, Ipswich are without a manager. Um, and Forrest won that game with two goals in like the, I don't know, the 89th and the 95th minute or something. So they lucked out a little bit at the end of that game. They looked very stodgy, very slow, overly rigid. Um, all the things that you can say are wrong about sort of pragmatic type football. Although... From what we've seen, it was obviously the foundations that Karanka was laying um, and he wanted to get his own players in. So, wasn't impressed um, to begin with. But then comes the summer and he was seriously backed by uh, the Forest ownership. So, uh, Colbeck's in on loan again. Yanko, Diaz, Dawson on a free, Hefele, Figueredo, Sudani. And then the... The two big ones, Graben, your guaranteed championship goal scorer, and Carvalho, who I think they looked at the Wolves model and I think they wanted um, a Neves uh, type sign and they saw what Neves did um, for Wolves last year and I think that was the model they were going for. 15 million euros for Carvalho in the number 10 position. So I then saw Forrest again in the summer. Um, and you can check out all these match reviews um, on the channel. They're all up there, detail on all of the games. I saw them play West Brom right at the start of the season, and it was absolutely great. Um, OK, West Brom were great fun too, but um, far more kind of intensity and presence to the game. Um, flair players, Diaz and Carvalho involved, obviously grabbing the focal point up front. Um I thought they improved greatly. Um, and as this season kind of moved on, they uh, moved up into the top six. Um, and then I've seen them twice more. I saw them really dismantle Ipswich. And they were they were very good against Ipswich. I know um, Ipswich are you know, the poorest team in the league this season. But they really functioned well. And um, it looked like he'd moved on from this rigid 4-2-3-1 and the fullbacks were moving forward and there was just a bit more interchange and a bit more movement and the flair players were working well grabbing got the goals it looked really good for Forrest and at that point 
I think I said in one of the uh, match reviews, um, I could see Forrest actually being top four challengers, not just not just playoff challengers. I then saw them again go away to Derby County um, in the the Brian Clough Derby, the East Midlands Derby, and it was nil nil. Um, but Forrest were the team that were going to win that game. It's an away game. They really took the game to. Um, to Derby, Graben uh, had one blocked out. Lolly hit the bar. Yeah, um, you know they they edged that one. If it was a boxing match, they win that one. On points, everything looked good. The away section's full. They're all singing this um, Buddy Holly, Itor Karanka song. Um, I'm thinking it all looks good. Then um, they've had a bit of a slip. Uh, since lost a couple of home games, I think Preston and QPR they lost to, and then we start hearing these uh, rumours and. You're a bit like, oh, that doesn't make sense. But what I need to say right now is, as an Ipswich fan, I know what it's like for people from the outside looking at a decision and go, oh, that's madness, you know, uh, uh, re-Mick McCarthy or what have you. So I'm not going to make a comment from the outside because I don't know as much as Forest fans. And I think the truth of it is Forest fans don't know what's actually gone on on the inside because from all the stats I can see... This looks like it's a personality thing and uh, a clash of uh, two adults not being able to work together. It really does look that simple between the owner and Karanka. So Forrest had a really good win against Leeds. The, um, their last couple of games have been very, very un um, Karanka. They drew 3 3 at Norwich, obviously throwing away a three goal lead there to. Um, lose out in injury time to lose the three points. And then, excuse me, a 4-2 win over league leaders. Leeds, although the caveat to that is Leeds had Phillips sent off, who's kind of their deep-line playmaker, and still managed to take the lead in that one. So um, I guess maybe their marks against uh, Karanka. But a 4-2 win is a a 4-2 win. So he left them in seventh position... Um, obviously with a pretty good squad and a good team functioning well with a good system there's at the moment there's a chase there's a four point gap between 6th Derby and 7th Forest um, that could be one point by by um, two days time you know Forest go to Reading and 6th um, place Derby go away to the league leaders Leeds tonight so that gap literally could have been one point um, in two days time um so that's where everything is um like i say i think this sounds like uh either a clash with the players or a clash with his management above him and that's why well i say the decision's been made he's not been fired he's quote asked for his contract to be terminated um this does make forest look I don't know, a little bit um, like a basket case because they've obviously had... Have they had two owners or three owners recently, possibly? Um, Forest fans smarted me up on this. And they certainly have had, what, five or six managers in quick succession. If you take it from when Stuart Pearce was the manager there, it must be it must be five or six. I, I must admit, I've come straight in and done the video. I haven't totally, totally checked all of that out. Um, I don't know who Forrest are going to be looking for. Obviously, there'll be the normal ex-player, ex-boss uh, links, uh, Martin O'Neill, Roy Keane, <laughs> Gary Rowitz. There's getting lots of memes um, put out of him, although I'm not sure an ex-Derby manager will will um, end up at Forrest. Obviously, well, Jukanovic is out of work. Um, he's the championship guru from last year that was so good with Fulham. And then there's your Moyes and your Allardyce and your um, kind of people like that. So, does leave Forrest looking a little bit like the villains in this and Karanka looking a little bit like the sympathetic um, figure. We When we discussed Gary Rowett, that actually worked well for Rowett when this sort of thing happened to him at Birmingham. Um, I think, and I said this on that video, I think people conflate managers being hard done by with them being good managers. So I think if it was a bad, <clears throat> excuse me, if it was a bad relationship there with either players or boss, I think Karanka might have played this 
quite well because he comes out looking good, looking sympathetic, reputation not damaged because he was the one that, you know, moved himself away from these, um, I don't know, overbearing owners or whatever that I'm speculating has gone on that obviously has gone on because otherwise this doesn't add up. Um in terms of Karanka, I don't know what his level was. Obviously, he took Borough out of this division um, at the first attempt. And I remember they were incredibly miserly at the back. But then, remember, there was that big flounce off. I think they were playing Charlton. And he disappeared and he resigned and he came back and all of that stuff. And then they just didn't really seem to get going in the Premier League. Um, so, Karanka's level going forward... Um, I guess it's going to be championship again. Or is he going to um, go back with Mourinho? Obviously, that was where he was schooled. Who knows whether he says, you know, I don't want to be a manager. I'll, I'll go and work with Mourinho. But he obviously seems a pretty headstrong guy. And those type of people are normally very ambitious. So I guess he wants to um, wants to do his own thing and keep in the management game. Um my opinion, I thought Forrest looked good. I think they need to improve. But what I'll also say is, are Derby the finished product? Not yet. Lampard's learning. Are Borough playing well at the moment? No. Have Sheffield United got the money anyone else has got? No. Um, are West Brom, they've got an inexperienced manager. Norwich are having this amazing season, but people do expect some kind of regression to the mean. There will be chances for a team in Forest position to get into that top six, and maybe Karanka could have done it. We'll know at the end of the season whether um, this event, I won't say decision, plays out well for Forest. But from the outside, it seems odd, but I'm not going to make um, any judgments. I'm not a Forest fan, and I didn't sit in <laughs> on the meeting between Karanka and the owners. Be really interested in what people's thoughts are on this in the comments. Two things. One, why on earth have they done it? Um, was it a good decision? And who next for Forrest? Who do you think would be a good fit considering the style that Karanka played and the players that are left over? Um, maybe we'll have to do another one of these videos soon. Maybe another manager will go, but it doesn't give me any pleasure doing this. But I really do appreciate people watching. Uh, if you're new, please hit the subscribe button. Loads of championship content. Match reviews. I'll be at uh, Leeds Derby tonight. I'll be at Ipswich Rotherham tomorrow. Full championship uh, reviews and previews Thursdays and Sundays. So well worth following. Um, ask any questions in the comments. Um, Keep it civil. We're all adults here. Follow me on Twitter at Benjamin Bloom and let me know what's what there also. But yeah, interesting day at Forest and we watch with interest what happens next. Thank you for watching.